Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now that it's summertime, I want to share with you guys my bronze glow makeup look. And since I have never done any makeup for any of you girls who have warmer skin tone, instead of trying to hide under the shade, we should embracing the sun. And this look is perfect for any day that you know you'll be taking lots of photos. Let's get started. If you already have warmer skin tone, you can apply your normal foundation shade. But if you have a lighter skin, pick a couple of shades darker than your complexion. Time to brighten up your face using concealer in one or two shades lighter. Apply it onto your under eye area in an upside down triangle shape then apply it onto your nose bridge cubist bow shin and forehead then using a tapping motion to blend and set the concealer in place Next, I'm going to set the foundation with a pressed powder that is one shade lighter than your foundation. Using a small amount, brush it all over your face like so. Moving on to the eyes, start by applying white pencil liner inside your crease and onto the inner corner of the eyes. Then using your finger to feather it out, this will make your eyeshadow pop. Next, I'm using my bronzer as an eyeshadow. Apply it just above your crease and connect it to the lower lash line. Then, I'm using a shimmer bronze color. Apply it on top of your bronzer to intensify the eyes. Next, apply soft gold eyeshadow inside the outer half of your crease. Then apply white shimmer color onto the inner corner of your crease and to the inner corner of your eyes. And use a fluffy brush to blend all the hard edges. Next, I'm using a dark brown pencil liner to draw my upper lash line and the waterline. After you curl your lashes, apply three coats of mascara onto the upper and lower lashes. Moving on to the face, I'm using the same bronzer with a flat shader brush. Create a line onto the hollows of your cheekbone to define your cheek. And using the same brush to contour your nose like so. Then dab a small amount of bronzer onto your fluffy brush and blend it up towards your cheeks. Then blend it up to the side of your forehead and bring it down to your jawline and don't forget your neck today I'm using a peach lip color as a blush apply it with a sponge or your finger dab a small amount of the product onto the side of your cheek and use a tapping motion instead of swiping now to make your face glow I'm using gold highlighter apply it onto your cheekbone and connect it to your brow bone then apply it along the bridge of your nose, above your brows, keep its bow, and your shin. Next, I'm using a nude pink lip pencil, outline your lips. And if you want a thin lips, you can draw it just above your natural lip line to give it a fuller look. But don't go overboard with it. Then fill in your lips. And if you want to apply lipstick, then go right ahead. And that's it! Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And if you want to watch more of my videos, please click it around here. I'll post a link in the description box for you guys. Or if you want to follow me on social media, please go right ahead. And um, for some of you girls who've been wondering what the heck have I been, well, I have some stories to tell you guys. For some of you girls who've been following me on social media for the past year, you guys will probably know that I broke my computer back in 2014. And yep. I did it again. And this time I blamed the weather. Or no, the 
actually it's all my fault yeah. after I post my last tutorial that you remember the quick and easy tutorial I left my computer on so I can reply some of you girls and then around an hour later it started raining but I didn't care for it like I was just like yeah whatever it's just another rainy day and then when I came home I realized that I didn't shut my window and my computer was soaking wet so I quickly ran to the window and tried to shut my window and my elbow hit my computer and it fell down on the floor and when that happened my head was just like Zing. And when I snap out of it, I quickly grab my computer to dry it off. I waited for like seven or eight days and then I turn it on again. And if some of you girls who have any computer that got to do with Apple, you guys will know when you turn it on, it will be a sound like ding. It turned on and everything was fine. But then suddenly I felt something funky. So I tried to snip out the source. Like I'm like, where is it? Where is it? And then I realized that should come from my computer. It smelled like a burnt chemical. And after that I went depressed. I was like, oh my god, this is really not good. So I call Apple Care and then I call the guy and the guy's like, hey, how can I help you? And I'm like, yep, um, my computer's soaking wet. And he was like, oh, so is it like MacBook Pro or MacBook Air? And I'm like, nope, it's iMac. And then he went silent for a second and he's like, iMac? And I'm like, yep, iMac. And he's like, okay, how did it happen? So I tell him the whole story like I told you guys, and then he was like, so if you want to fix anything, you need to take off the screen first so they can see what's wrong with the inside. And I'm like, yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, it's okay, but it's kind of cracked though, the screen. And he was like, come again? I'm like, yep, the screen is cracked. And he's like, okay, wait, what? So it's soaking wet and it's cracked. How did it happen? So I tell him more of the story and he was like, oh, okay, so here's the thing. If you're gonna take off the screen, it's 100% gonna get worse and the screen will be totally shattered. And I'm like, well, is it still usable? And he's like, no, I don't think so. And I'm like, okay, how much will it cost? It's gonna cost more than half of a price that you bought your last iMac. And I was like, what should I do? I have no idea anymore. And then he just said, how about you buy a new iMac? You know, instead of replacing everything, would you just get a new one? And I'm like, okay, thank you. And I hang up the phone. So I waited until I get my new paycheck and ta-da, now I got a new one. So that's why I've been gone for so long and I'm sorry if I didn't reply some of you girls on my previous video but I'm back! So yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time and let's hope this time I'm not gonna break it within like 6 months again